Welcome to the Clash Bash League semifinals. I'm William Table and Legs, and I'm here with Kevin Smurf Murphy. Kevin, what's up? What's up? We're following John on Dromai and Bravo from the match that we covered in the quarterfinals, and they're up against Arnix uh, on Ira and Icelander. Kevin, we got Dromai and Icelander, a matchup you are very familiar with. How does this normally I... play out? <laughs> It's yeah, the, this is a matchup I've played a ton. Uh, I love this matchup so much. It's very intricate. Uh, and there's a lot of back and forth between the the two decks and all the interactions you get with Frostbites and the allies. Um, Frostex is not typically something you see a ton of. Uh, it's a blue. It, it is a it is a blue and we're just going to play it out and cycle it out. I'm very curious as to why we didn't see an oasis played on that waning moon and we just took two or we didn't we didn't pitch to we, we don't need to pitch to the silken form but we also have no arcane barrier at all which is a little oh spooky oh boy um opening hand of passing raj passing raj sync oasis we need to kind of get rid of thamai is uh that's good one the, it's a it's one of the power cards in this matchup because now good. Icelander can no longer play out of her arsenal, which is pretty important. It means this is the one of the few dragons you cannot kill uh, on the stack, remove the action point, and end their turn. And notably, they didn't play out of arsenal in response to it, right? Because you could play in response yes. to them playing it. Um, yes, which is interesting. It could just be a value card, like uh, yeah, we see scar for a scar, scar, or maybe yep. wounded bull um yep they did pitch away a brothers in arms and a yellow ice vein on the last turn so i wouldn't be surprised to see either any of those cards come out um scar does come out of hand goes at the my we need uh ice i want to take just a little bit of damage at least to make sure this scar would go again with both of them being at 18 um clearing the my obviously paramount oh oof. Oof. ooh, wow just a, scar into scar is just the the best play it's a little unfortunate one had to go with the Maya, not at face but th this is exactly where ice center wants to be it's good again those red cards out of the deck um just pre just presenting good value and and Dromai is too right with the fate for scene um as we saw this Dromai in the last match in the quarterfinals uh it's a pretty it's a pretty uh well-valued deck like it's got a lot of the good staples in it mm-hmm yeah, the, this this matchup is a ooh okay. Oh. So it was a red ice vein in Arsenal. Okay, um, so that's this, good. This matchup is very much about Icelander has to uh, put Dromai on a clock. Yeah, and you have to get you have to start threatening their life total as fast as possible. And the board can't get like too out of control. You you have to be able to manage it. Um, the scars are great for pressuring the life total. Um. Likewise, Dromai actually wants to yes, and cl and clearing important dragons <laughs> like Thamai and Miragai, um, and Chromai if it comes up. Um, then stuff like Red Ice Vein is going to take cards out of Dromai's hand uh, and help prevent Dromai from building a board. This is Dromai's primary thing: is I'm going to make a board. You can't clear it. I'm just going to get value out of it until the end of the game, and. I can just block with as many cards as I want, and I can prevent with as many cards with that, with as many cards as I want. Um, we were talking about problem dragons and trying to build up a board. Here's the mirror guy from Arsenal. Yeah, mirror guys, mirror guys, not bad in this matchup. Uh, Icelander has wounded bull, fighting spirit, uh, maybe raging onslaught. Uh, depends on the Icelander build. So getting rid of the popper and th this puts a little bit of a clock on. Um, on the Icelander, because this is damage that's hard to clear out of Arsenal. We saw the Cold Snap reveal to the Ice Vein, so we know that Mirror Guy can't get cleared. This does uh, potentially mean that we're pitching this Kyloria away um, to clear the Frostbite so that Mirror Guy can attack. It would also prevent one from the uh, Frostex dealing one Arcane off the Frostbite at the end of the turn if you chose to clear it. They did start with the Mirror Guy out of Arsenal, knowing that the Cold Snap was revealed, which is good. Um, doing so does put is... Kyloria at the bottom of the Ooh. deck I don't know how important 
that ends up being? Not a ton. Kyloria is not one is not the most important dragon in the matchup. Um just because it is two health, it's very easy for Icelander to send Arcane at it from Arsenal and end their turn. Or end Dromai's turn. So it's oh it's a decent bit weaker in this matchup than it is in other matchups. Okay. Um that Frostbite does end up kind of just ending Dromai's turn. Uh and Icelander gets to come back with a four card hand because Cold Snap just replaces itself when you play it. It's a blue zero for four. But we do with get to go again. Yeah. It's oh it's so good. <laughs> but we do get to see Dromai does have her A B right there. My favorite form of A B, uh Sigil of Solace in hand. Uh <laughs> <laughs> well that's A B we're gonna be seeing in Rosetta, right? Uh with Earth uh so, something like that. Yeah. There's no A B in that I, set, just like Dromai's living. Nope. Yeah, I I, th- I think the, the card that I'm looking at in Dromai's hand right now the most is Billowing Mirage, getting an Ashwing on the board so that I at least have something. Oh, true, um, actually. Uh, that would be very we, nice, and we put this Sigil in Arsenal. We're we going to have... pay one, make an Ash, discard. Blue Winner's Bite, very good at this. It's You trade one card for one card. You're not worried about making Ash them making Ash in this matchup as Icelander. Um, you're not going to be able to stop them from making Ash at any point. You want to take cards out of their hand and slow them down where you can. Um, Wayne Moon immediately follows up into oh. just an Arctic Incarceration from hand. This is not from the hand. best hand from Icelander. Yes. It's a very blue um, hand. Yes. It's a very blue hand. It's going to be disruptive enough, and we're going to get to set an Arsenal, but this means it's not a red threat going into Arsenal. They didn't have one. This is another blue card that's going into Arsenal that they get to play out. Um so I, if I'm hmm. Icelander does get to probably have two frostbites on Dromai's turn this turn, right? It, depending on the card that they play out of Arsenal, which yeah. is pretty it's pretty awful if you're Dromai and you're running ninety-five percent reds or something like that. Yeah, like one one frostbite is an entire card. Um, yes. it's which is a huge like that Arctic incarceration traded one for one, the winner's bite traded one for one. Which is fine because Icelander also got two damage out of Waning Moon on that turn. Um, Rabble having having to pitch for Rabble doesn't feel good. No, like, <laughs> it 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 feels real bad. And I think we we saw the the two passing mirages in the Dromai's opening hand. Those couple blues that Dromai runs are very important to playing through frostbites on key turns. Like that is how Dromai really takes edges in the matchup is. They draw into a blue, you channel like frigid them, and they still get to play their entire turn because they had their one blue. And those two might be the only blues in the deck, and we might not see them again. Here's a mirror guy doing mirror guy things, coming in for two. You can't pop it. Mm-hmm. Chip damage coming in. Yep. And then, yeah, but I- Icelander's sitting on. Oh. Yeah, there's. Emeritus Scolding is a big chunk of Arcane. The Sigil might get forced here. I think it does. Unless we want to stash Silken Form here. That's an option. That looks like what they're doing. Yeah, I, I think I'm okay with this because we do end up with an Ashwing and we get a little bit of opportunity to Arcane Barrier, but we're still going to be taking at least, I think, four, depending on whether or not they send a Waning Moon, we're taking at least three here. Um, we get to put the sigil in Arsenal, so we're starting this at an effective 10. So it's going to be 7-7, seven to seven, but Icelander's going to have either three cards uh, or two cards, and we still have to contend with a waning moon. Ooh, I don't okay. know if I play the sigil here. I, I want to put this in Arsenal and set it for a turn. It's a really strong turn opener. Um, yes. At instant it, speed a- and all that stuff. Yeah, it's it's a good turn starter uh, where you get to um, swing the mirror guy, committing nothing, giving Icelander no priority window, and then you get to sigil later in reactions or resolution uh, in response to whatever they want to do. And you keep this information from them. Um, and it, it's it's very important, but just getting the value out of it, getting the life, maintaining kind of a buffer. Um, uh so that they're not worried about it. And maybe making the Icelander kind of 
second guess or like if they they might be okay with Icelander sending Waning Moon here so that Icelander's drawn two cards and maybe can't do uh, a whole lot or I guess the kind of oh. alternative to this is they're trying to yeah they're going to send uh, they're sending Waning Moon with the Spellfire Cloak okay makes sense breaking it here just for a, yeah breaking it here getting the efficient uh, use out of the one floating they get to keep a three card hand this is this is going to be really scary for Dromai. This you is get to really throw scary for Dromai. One more damage, just a little bit more damage. They, yeah. But most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, we got him. One AB on the board. <laughs> Woo! One AB is there, but Red Ice Vein. <laughs> Red, Red Ice Vein. Do not care. Four, and I have one AB. And if I had to guess, uh, Dromai could literally just be running those two blues, and we're not going to see him for a minute. Yep. So, mm, yep. AB feels Entirely really possible. inefficient. Hey, but Scarf or Scar's on. Oh my gosh, Glacial Horns. I forgot this card existed. Okay, so yeah, destroy Glac Glacial Horns. Uh, choose target hero. Uh, freeze up to one card in their arsenal and one ally they control until the start of their next turn. Your next turn. Uh, mm -hmm. So Maragai is uh, in the Channel Lake Frigid right now. So this is going to be an Ice Bolt that's going at face. Oh. When this hits, they're going to... Are they going to pop Conduit? Because they can... I'm not sure if that blows up off the top of my head if it blows up Arsenal or if it can also blow up Allies. I'm not sure They might have been able to blow up... I don't... I think it's only Arsenal. But it's a frozen card. Frozen card in their arsenal. Um, but yes. Jerome is okay. so coming but in with they, the they scar. can't start with Mirror Guy. No, they can't can't do anything with Mirror Guy. Uh no. starting with Scar for Scar. Mm-hmm. Um one A B the best chance that they have. Two health. Yeah, one oh. two health waning moon is available. Oh boy. Is, uh, a little, a oh. little snug. No responses to yep. Scar for a Scar. Yep. Uh, Icelander is just going to let this resolve, take the Ashwing, go to one, and say, you, give me another card. You have to give me another card. Here's a card. Dust up. All right. So we're, we're going to send the dust up. And now Icelander has pretty good information on what's going on. We know there's one card. There's no floating. So what are we worried about? Worried about Sigil. Worried about sand cover um both those only put us at an effective six. Oh, um, it is only we also have a frost hex and playing this arctic incarceration would be really interesting if it uh if it if it mattered for the yep. frostbite but it doesn't look like it did icelander one anyways off of the waning moon uh didn't yep. actually have anything to worry about even though they were definitely considering it um Arcane just goes over the top. Yep. That wraps up game one. Kevin, any final thoughts on the game? Um, a very interesting matchup, uh, especially without um, Furnace. Furnace made for a lot of fun interactions, but it was, there was still a lot of uh, interesting back and forth when you... Because you still had a lot of the important cards. Yeah. Um, there's no channel like Frigid in this. True. But the, this is just Icelander's power of I can play both sides of the turn cycle, even without Striders. Like, I still just get to present 12 on my turn and then another nine on, or another seven on your turn. And you have to be able to contend with both. So it's still still just showing, especially in low health formats, when you enter that kill range much sooner. Yeah, true. Uh, we were... Uh, William and Kevin from Pit Against the Table Pits Live Flesh and Blood Colin Show... Make sure to tune into the rest of the top eight of the Clash Bash right here. Bye. Ooh.